Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today what I want to talk to you about is as we go direct with a lot of these energies, things are going to be a little bit topsy-turvy for people. Now some of you might be saying, that's been that way for me for a long time. However, you're expected to stabilize. You're expected to also continue learning about what this is and how to put yourselves together. So you are in a process of unification. This is going in stages and phases, and it doesn't include the runner chaser stage. Those are not what I'm talking about. It includes parts of your body. It includes levels. It includes time for releasing really old and ancient wounds. That is the thing that not everyone would be able to help you with. However, I am able to help you with that. I am a person who is a healer from a different level, and I'm able to do this through the body. So I want to tell you a, a little bit about a conversation I had uh, with, with someone that I was working with. We were talking and they said, you know, why is this like so much? Why is it so much stuff? Why is there so much to learn? Why can't we just get together? So this goes way into ancient history. It goes into times when there have been things that have happened that have been beyond your control that you cannot fix from the human level. What you can do from the human level is learn a little bit about the things that you can do. Now, some of you have been doing that. You need to learn how to breathe. You need to learn about your light body. You need to learn about integrating the elements for the light body. You need to know, learn about grid work. It really does you no good to learn what wave you're in. I'll tell you why. Because while there are waves and waves of twins, there are some waves that have already gone ahead. There are some waves that are just coming into a place right now to be able to get rid of some things. And there are waves of twins that won't even wake in until after August of this year. So that's a lot. That is something that maybe not everyone has the timelines about this. I do. In terms of things that you need to finish, there are things that need finishing. For people that intend to be with their twin, you have to finish some inner clearing. You have to finish with addictions. You have to finish with old relationships of all types. You might be confused or muddled about that. You might want to say, you know what, this is too overwhelming. All I really want is just to get home. And I understand that. But you're not going to be able to get home until you connect properly and until you throw off all that ballast and the heaviness of the past. Have you been weeping a lot lately? Where is this weeping coming from? It's coming from lifetimes of grief, lifetimes of lives that ended badly, of seeing things, of seeing things burnt into your retina. Where do you heal? It has to heal from multiple levels. It's not just healing because you're crying. There are other parts of you that will continue the releasing and the healing. So your body needs you. Your body needs you to participate because you are removing your connections. Does this interest you? Are you interested in knowing what, what ray you're from, what some of your cosmic origins are? I pick up on that stuff just when I start looking at someone and the minute they start talking. So my sessions are fairly simple from my end because when the person starts talking, you start opening up your high heart connections. That is how I feel. I'm not feeling the mind. It's not that I can't, but that tends to be earthly stuff. It doesn't tend to be the really deep stuff where we need to focus. And yet it's very conversational. So as I was talking to this person and she said, why do we have all this stuff that, you know, needs to happen? First of all, you have a gift in being here. Just being here is a gift. You may think of it as maybe not a gift at times, but just being here is a gift to you. Being able to completely ditch your past and heal from it is the hugest gift anyone could ever give you. 
the closest thing you may have ever had is being absolved of something or like a do-over as a child. Not, we don't always get those opportunities in life to completely redo something as though it never happened. That is the gift of your brand new body. Having a brand new body enables you to love each other and make love to each other. So I want to clear up a misconcept right now. There, you know, there's a lot that floats around that is misinformation. And it comes from the mind. It sometimes comes from ancient texts and things that float in and out of things. However, when it comes to uh, fully being who you are, what you will do in the world comes from what you love, okay? So you're not intended to be a square peg that fits in a round hole. This is very daunting for people. I wish people would stop saying it because it's really giving the wrong impression. Now, I've done several videos where I've covered all the types of professions where twin flames are being awakened, everything. Police officers, real estate agents, People that invent things, people that are authors, people that work at a laboratory, people that work in healthcare, people that are lawyers, people that work in credit, banking, all kinds of people are having a twin flame experience. Why? Because you need people that are fully present and awakened in every sector. So it's a misconcept to say that you know, you and your twin flame have to come together and have to do this. You will balance with each other. How you express your love in the world happens after you're connecting, where you're saying, this is what I would love to do. That's what makes me feel good. That's what makes me feel on fire. I feel like it's a good day's work when I do what? What is it? What is it that you like to do? For example, I love doing sessions with people. I don't love it because that's the thing. I like people. I'm a people person. If you were to stack a bunch of files in front of me and a computer and said, plunk this stuff in, I'd be miserable. Okay. Some people are happy as a clam to know that they can come in and have a stack of stuff and that's all they have to do for the day because maybe they're more of an introvert. I'm not. I'm an extroverted person. It doesn't match me. Okay, so you're not expected to do something that doesn't match you or your gifts. Now, that's another thing. Removing your connections to old levels and reconnecting to your elemental selves, what does that mean? That means right here in River City, right down here on Earth, the elemental part of you, this flesh and blood human body that you have, you need to connect deep inside. Connecting deep inside brings you to the connections where your gifts and skills and talents are most likely to be successful and needed, okay? There are also other things. Many of you are making dimensional footholds and are also doing this in your dream time. So the biggest questions I tend to get, how to get your twin? I have people that want a session and they want to find out how do they get that man? How do they get that woman? Okay, I'm going to tell you this, the connections in the heart. Some of the other questions, what is my twin thinking of? They do think of you. They never stop thinking of you. What are some of the other questions I get? Do they find me sexy? I want to explain about this. Now, when I'm telling you I am the maestro of the body, I'm not kidding about that. I am a prototyper. And I am a person that helps to adjust, and the work goes on 24-7. The work of what I'm capable of doing, it goes on. Now, I do balance two levels with this. Now, here's the thing about it. When you have people that are expecting to live together, and really live together in a household, and do all the things that are normal for them, you also have people that if you're awakened and activated and you keep activating your parts, you're going to another dimension, okay? 
The lovemaking is different. It's not just with your human body. It is with the higher part of you. So you have several forms. So this is what we talked about. You have several forms. And the lady said to me, what do you mean forms? I said, well, you have your angel form now, don't you? That's when you're not in this body. Oh, yeah. And you have masculine and you have feminine. You have the forms of that. Yeah. And we have the magnetic and the electric. Magnetic masculine, electric masculine, magnetic feminine, electric feminine. What do those look like? Okay. Anyone remember that TV show, Gilligan's Island? Okay, if you want to know what the electric feminine is, the electric feminine is ginger. The magnetic feminine is Marianne. And, you know, this is kind of a meme that goes around. Who, who would like Marianne and who would like ginger? Some people are all like, ooh, I like ginger. I like that. I like electric feminine. Other people are like, ooh, I like Marianne. I like, you know, a softer, more demure, uh, sweet, you know, girl next door type. Okay, that's sort of the magnetic feminine, although it is not, that is not only what she is. Okay, what's the electric masculine? What is the magnetic masculine? Okay, so you have all of these to blend up. These are also your forms for lovemaking. You also have senses. You have things about you that are connected to each other. You have ways of being so into each other, you can taste what each other is eating. You can feel each other. You can etherically touch each other. Now, this is, you could say, not for the faint of heart because it does take some persistence. However, what I want to let you know is it is for everybody. It's just that not everyone has the activations yet to like get that stuff up and running. That is what I help with. So if you are feeling stuck, if you have some of these questions, you know, how to get your twin, how to get it open, how to get things unblocked, unstuck, get those traffic jams moving, get you flowing again, get you into a level of abundance where you are properly supported. I have a lot of people that write comments and you're writing comments saying, you know, some really negative stuff is happening to you. Why not have a session, okay? Because all the commenting is in, in the world isn't going to help if you don't get your body moving on this. And there are ways that you have to get things moving where you are proactive. That is another thing to know about this. No matter which phase you're in, you have to participate in it. There are connections only you have inside your body. Now, what could those be? I'll tell you, these are your cosmic connections. So let's say you live in the United States, but you feel another country like Italy or Germany or Japan or something like that. That is a favorite home of yours. But what if it's a planet or star system and you find yourself pining for it and you say, gosh, I just want to get out of here. I don't know where that home is, but I want to get home. I want to go and you look at the stars and you imagine you and your twin under the same stars at night. And then you get all nostalgic and then you get a little sad, but you get a little hopeful. Okay. Those are the connections that are unique to both of you. Connecting this and getting it up and running, that is what I help with because those are actually your sixth, seventh, eighth dimensional connections. Okay. You need a spiritual attunement. So I want to tell you, kind of give you a glossy overview of what we're doing here. First, if this is new to you, please do not be put off by the negativity or by other things that you find discouraging or daunting because there are people that write things. Sometimes people are in so much pain, they can't help it. They're just dumping it all out right there, and it can be a deterrent. Don't let it deter you. There are a lot of delightful things that happen on this journey that are unique for you, that are here to tell you what these experiences are. So if this is new to you, welcome. I'm here to help you. I'm here to teach you. 
I have quite a bit of material to teach you all about the phases and the things that you read about. It's all on my website where it's available to you. But the biggest thing to know is you are here to be in love. You are here to be with that one special person who can embody the other half of you. And that is no small thing. That is what God has intended. And that is why you're here starting to experience things and completely getting rid of the past, getting rid of patterns and all those kit bags people bring into the relationships where it's like, oh, I'll give you the cold shoulder. Oh, I'll ghost you. Oh, I'll reject you. Oh, I'll do this. Oh, I'll do that. I have ways to get rid of that where that is never going to trouble you again. And it does require some patience. But we get rid of, I help people to get rid of phobias. Look, some of the things I've helped with, driving a car again, going back in the water again, speaking up for oneself without it being a fight, getting out of a marriage that's abusive. I help with remove those fears that have completely held people down and kept them enslaved or imprisoned. I have helped people bring sensation to parts of them that they have lost or been cut away. That is how high my gift is. And I don't take it lightly. It is a gift. I honor it. And I help people with it. And no, it's not free. But I think it's fair. Because if you were to see the levels at which I'm doing this, I could probably genuinely say, you know, it is worth quite a bit. Okay, but it has to be something that is manageable for everyone. So there is a lot that gets accomplished in my sessions. I help people deepen their connection because the physical and the emotional intimacy that you are seeking happens through the etheric body. That is what I help with. The etheric body, which is connected to your causal body. What is your causal body? The causal body is how you set things in motion. It is your manifester. It is different than cause and effect. It causes things to happen. It connects between you and your higher self so that your higher self gets the emotional message of, hey, I need this. Hey, I want that to happen. Hey, I'd like to manifest that. That is how abundance works for twin flames through the causal body. That is why sometimes the, and you, because it's a joint and shared connection to each other and to your higher self. I help you get that spiritual attunement. So to give you an overview of why are things like this? Why does it seem to take so long? Okay. At one time, the center that we all lived in was located in the Pleiades. This is a different star system. It's visible through a telescope. It is a cluster of stars close enough together. And because of thing, terrible things that happened, it was decided that, you know, when we're in this higher form, higher dimension, that we would move the new center here to Earth. Now, we've been doing that. That is what has been being phased in. Bring this, and then bring that, and then bring that. And you might say, why are so many feminine? Well, guess what? Do -do 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 -do. She, she has been catapulted here to hold the connections and hold the fort while the masculine wraps up all the loose ends and ties up old business and everything and then gets here. Okay. Now, not everyone is coming under their own steam. Some people have deep wounds from things that have happened. That is why some of this takes a long time. You are bringing in the four corners of everywhere you've been. The other thing to know is your connection to the elements, fire, earth, air, water, and love. Everything tempered and raised up with love. And you see this sometimes in readings. Oh, we're in a fiery sign. We're in a watery sign, okay? You're all these things. You're not just one thing. 
So no matter what your astrological sign is, you've been around the block, you've been in, around the entire zodiac learning and integrating all of those elements. It doesn't matter. You could say all you want. And I had someone say that to me about an old relationship. They said, oh, you know, you're this and I'm that. It's never going to work out. Do you want people to just shoot you down with their mind just like that? Or do you want to know that you have completed a circuit, you're ready to put closure, and you've gleaned everything that's usable and beneficial for both of you, and that your twin has also? Isn't that a much better plan? Because that's a part of the plan. Part of the plan is to bring up the mind and the mood. And the mind is not the ego mind. We've used that here. The mind is the high heart intelligence. So you're removing connections. And some of you are finding that there's parts of you that just seem to go through stuff. Is it in your gut? Is it in your hips? Is it here? Is it your belly button? Is it your chest? Does it feel like you can't breathe? Something's choking you. Something's squeezing you. Something's pressing you. Something's pushing you down. You're depressed. You're suppressed. All of it. I know how to get it moving. It doesn't matter what it is. I am an intuitive. Furthermore, I get information about your body that is distinctly helpful for you. I help you with your body because that is my guidance. It comes through the high heart and it could be anything. Hey, you have high cholesterol, address this. Or hey, the depression is coming because of this. Or hey, something's suppressed, it's making you feel this way, but I can get it moving. And that is my gift. Now, I'm not here to replace doctors. I am here to work in conjunction with your own medical things. I never really recommend that people totally do without medical. If you need it, you need it. Okay? Or at least you may need it to rule it out. And there's a reason for it. I talk to plenty of doctors and nurses. They're good people. They work with people. They, too, do their best to use their intuitions. But when you're talking about two people, how many healers are able to feel both of the energies of the two people in the Twin Flame Union? As far as I know, I may be one of the very few. And I am not only, you know, here, I'm up here. So there are things that I'm able to do and that I'm capable of. Not only that, I help guide you to what is helpful for you. I have a store. It is TwinFlameBody.com where I have essential oils, herbs, teas, and supplements to help you get things necessary for your body. I intuit this and everything is at a very good price. If you email me at TwinFlamesMerge at gmail.com, I will help guide you towards what I feel would be uh, best for you to get or what a session uh, would be with um, booking this one, Causal Body Session, or my book. I just came out with my fourth book on Twin Flame Ascension, Ascension Inner Healing. So this is book four, and it is about healing the inner cosmic connection parts to you. It's pretty well packed. There are 29 chapters in there. And it is packed with a lot of useful information. Because all you need to know is how to get things working so that you can live together. That's what you need to know. Because that's what you want. You want hugs. You want kisses. You want intimacy. You want the thing that never leaves. Because your twin flame is so into you that they're in you. And... They're so in you that they're into you, okay? You remember that expression that goes around, oh, they're just not into you. Well, guess what? With your twin flame, not only are they in you, they're into you. And they think about you. And they wonder how you are. 
And regardless of whatever they think, if they think they're inadequate, we all deal with feelings of inadequacy. We all do. Find out how to do it. I've made it very simple, either in my book or have a causal body session with me. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I will be back with more, and I'm going to do more frequently talking about the body. Thank you. Bye.